Two state lawmakers call on the Sports Facilities Authority to immediately stop using two suites at U.S. Bank Stadium. Yeah, how those suites are used and who gets tickets to them is now part of an investigation by the legislative auditor. Tim Blotz is at the Capitol with more on that tonight. Tim? Well, Kelsey, the legislative auditor says he will look into everything about these suites, the legality, who from the public has used them, who has paid for them, and who has not. The suites in question are two luxury boxes controlled by the Minnesota Sports Facilities Authority in the lower level of U.S. Bank Stadium. The authority uses the suites to market the stadium to bring in more events. But an investigation by the Star Tribune revealed some of the tickets went to public officials and their family members. And now two state lawmakers say the authority is violating not just ethics laws, but data practices law by not revealing who else used the suites. And we are calling for the MSFA board and executive staff to suspend the use of the suites, starting with tonight's game. In a statement, the Sports Facilities Authority says it will not suspend its marketing efforts. This evening, the MSFA is hosting a number of marketing prospects and active clients in the MSFA suites. My stance is that there are a lot of questions that need to be answered. Legislative Auditor Jim Nobles has launched an investigation. And even some of the public officials uh, that have been there. I mean, why are they there? What was the purpose? How did that advance use of the stadium, the marketing of the stadium? Those are the questions that the folks over there controlling those suites are going to have to answer. Even Governor Dayton today said the stadium suites must serve a legitimate public purpose. They say they're using it for marketing and for soliciting uh, additional business for the stadium. I don't, I don't know the facts of that. I'll defer to the legislative auditor and I'll make comment when I know the facts. Now, the Sports Facilities Authority, in its statement today, says it is essentially a local unit of government and therefore state ethics laws that ban the giving of gifts do not apply to the authority. But you can bet that's going to be an issue that the state auditor will take up in addition to lawmakers when they reconvene here in January. At the Capitol, I'm Tim Blotz, Fox 9.